Welcome back everyone to my Let's Play of Final Fantasy 3 for the Nintendo Famicom. Last episode, we explored the outer uh, rim of the floating continent here, so now we're going to explore the inner ring. There's uh, some islands here, and there's uh, quite a few areas to explore. The first here being this living woods. Got a bunch of fairies floating around. These woods are blessed with life. The elder tree was carved in the shape of a castle and is roaming the desert lost. Help! We're fairies of these woods. Of the woods. The trees weep for the missing elder tree, a tree that has lived for 10,000 years. A wizard came and put a curse on it, then took it away. So that's what's floating in the desert to the south. Hine alters his weak point using barrier shift. The wizard Hine of Castle Argus cursed the elder tree. So maybe he's behind all the bad things that Castle Argus is doing. The wizard who took the elder can alter his weakness. You need to find a way to counter it. If the elder tree doesn't return, these woods will die. And one of the new jobs that we'll end up getting uh, will uh, have a counter to that. So you want to head uh, north there, so you're going to end up back in the uh, living tree there. We've got some sea monster there swimming in the lake. There's a cave there over to the right. Now, I'm trying to find an enemy here. There are four groups of uh, enemies in this area. There's uh, red caps, uh, tarantulas, and slimes, baromets, those plant enemies, and then uh, this enemy, this new enemy that would just come here, the cuff gel. Uh, it took me, like I said, only those, only, only, even though there's only those four uh, encounters, uh, it took me like almost 27 minutes to come across this uh, this encounter. So as you can see, my characters are pretty much all out of magic, uh, and I actually gained one level. Uh, so got a few job levels, of course. Uh, with all that fighting, but uh, only one, you know, experience level. Yeah, these guys took forever to find, so, uh, yeah, kind of annoying. Like I said, there's, you know, you figure one in four chance, but I was in, uh, no luck at all. So, fought way too many of those, uh, plant enemies, those, uh, bad muffs enemies. Yeah, pain, pain because they keep using that, uh, bad breath, with, which paralyzes you, and I had a tone where, uh, Several turns where every single one of my characters, all our four mice hero, were all uh, paralyzed, so couldn't do any attacking. So, very, very annoying. But I wanted to go this way first because uh, some of the other areas we'll be exploring, we will uh, we'll be able to uh, refill our, uh, our uh, spell charges. There's going to be kind of like a free healing point. Now, unfortunately, we can't reach that lake there. We're gonna have to come back to there. Almost at the uh, at the end game, there are two places uh, on this floating continent that are basically only accessible uh, end game. We have another new enemy here, the Hermit. So thankfully, we saved one uh, charge of our Thunder spell, so we'll be able to take these guys out. And then we'll head up to that uh, castle there to the north. That's where there is uh, going to be a healing pond. And we'll restore all our hit points and uh, all our magic charges. That's, of course, the main thing we want to restore our magic charges because both uh, Tupelo and Baby Moo are pretty much out of spell charges. Well, more, uh, more uh, Tupelo. This is Castle Argus, but uh, it's pretty empty right now. I'm gonna go through though just to get that healing pot. There is a secret he room here, uh, but one we weren't told about it, so I'm not gonna visit it. And uh, two, uh, it leads to two more rooms that we won't be able to enter because we don't have a key or we don't have a thief. So let's just get this hidden treasure here. And then we're going to uh, step outside uh, to the courtyard. And uh, that's where there'll be a revive pond and uh, the healing pond. So the revive pond will be over to the left. We don't need that, but I'm just going to show it off. So if you have a character that's knocked out, go to the revive pond. And if you're like me and need a uh, break, you want to uh, go to this pond over here. And you get your HP and MP restored. We'll come back and use this again before we head to our next dungeon. But before we can head to that dungeon. Well, we can head to that dungeon now, but we won't be able to make much progress in it. 
So there's kind of a roadblock, and I'll show that roadblock off just to show things off. Let's hop on our ship again, and a little further north, and experience another new enemy, the Tangi. Not to be confused with Tangawini. Uh, these tangies are kind of evil. They're like uh, seahorses. So, but uh, like the other uh, enemies, they are weak to uh, lightning. But unfortunately, they put two pillow to sleep. So, yeah. but uh, Fang should be able to do a lot of good damage to them with his uh, serpent swords. They're uh, lightning elemental. So, yeah, too bad uh, Baby Moo don't get like a. a doesn't have a lightning rod right now. That would be nice. Cast uh, the lightning spell, but well, she's out of commission now anyway, so doesn't matter. There we go. Fang takes one out. Tangawini took out the last Sahagin. There's still a few more uh, sea enemies, but we'll, we'll, we'll be doing a lot more uh, exploring in the sea, so. But our sea time is kind of limited right now, and we're going to see why in just a little bit. Took these guys out. We've got a tower there, and there's a whirlpool, block a whirlpool blocking our way. So, we're going to have to find some way to bypass that whirlpool or shut it down. We've got a bunch of toads running around here. And that's our clue of a spell that we're going to need. Another other clue is what Desh is about to, or what we're about to get here. Dive in, we can, only Toads can. Desh doesn't say that, it was our own character, our character saying that. So, yep, we're going to have to uh, find a Toad spell uh, somewhere and uh, use it to get down into this area. Luckily, there's that one cave that we saw earlier when, we, uh, when I was trying to farm that uh, Cuffer Gel enemy. Uh, near the lake uh, where that monster was. The Loch Ness Monster. But, uh, so we'll head to that cave. Maybe uh, we can learn something there. Feel free to use all your spell charges here because uh, this is the next big dungeon, uh, this tower. But uh, before we head into this tower, we're going to head back into the uh, Argus Castle and use that recovery pond again. We should have a little bit of exploration to do around here, and we obviously don't want to go to the uh, this dungeon uh, lacking, you know, spells and resources. Uh oh, got another enemy here, the petite mage. Those flying, like flying squirrels. We saw similar palette swaps in uh, the Nepto Shrine. Casting spells on us. Boo! But that's okay. Makes sense. They're mages. Makes sense that they would cast spells. At least they're not like the uh, tiny mages in Final Fantasy uh, 4. If you uh, berserk them, uh, they start casting instant death on you. And they're like early game enemies, just like how these enemies are here. And uh, they'll uh, pretty much knock you out. I wish we could knock out some of these toads here, because that one is in the way. Come on, toad, get out of the way. All these uh, NPCs, they're like, uh, uh, they're not like, too bad they can't be out of bounds, like the out of bounds bat in Final Fantasy 1 in the uh, waterfall cave. But nope, ain't, ain't getting any out of bounds toads. Alright, well, let's head over to the west. Gonna head to that cave that we saw earlier and uh, check it out. Maybe uh, somebody there can help us with the toad spell. Here we go. Now, uh, spoiler: somebody will give us the toad spell, but we're gonna need another open slot on our second tier white magic. So I'm just gonna take out the thunder there because we can't use thunder anyway. This is the Golgan Go Gulch. The Golgans were the people who made the prophecy at the beginning of the game. The crystal that gave you light is the wind crystal. Find the other three, fire, water, and earth. This is Golgan Gulch. Golgans are born blind, but can see the future. The earth crystal sealed the light of the other three, and its own. 
When the tower begins to spew red flames, it'll crumble, and the man who changes destiny will wake. I sense the power of fire from the island of the dwarves. I have an idea where the oh, fire crystal is. We leave hidden in this gulf, seeing the future is dangerous. I see both light and dark in the future, but it's not certain. The weeping tree and the living woods are calling for you. The weeping trees? The earthquake was just the beginning. The tremors that swallowed the crystals, the light of our world, and the demons crawl to the surface are nothing compared to the flood of darkness that's coming. No one sees both light and darkness in the future. Can't tell which one, though. Use this spell and enter the Tower of Owen up north. Desh, your destiny awaits. Desh? Sounds like destiny, almost. He is the one of, uh... Potion of Destiny, maybe? We'll find out. But, uh, in the meantime, let's, uh, rob these, uh, guys here. We've got an Ice Rod and a Flame Rod. Uh, they're supposed to, like I said, boost the elements that they, uh, are named after. Uh, you'll see it gets, like, Fire Plus, Ice Plus, uh, but they don't actually work, so. Oh, well. Well, it gives, uh, it gives, uh, Tupelo, you know, a an item, so. The Tower of Owen is filled with machinery. Desh's destiny is awaits there. So, let's use that Toad spell. We know exactly where we're going to have to use that Toad spell. Because we were just uh, over there. The Tower of Owen. But of course, before we head to the Tower of Owen, we are going to uh, head back to Castle Argus and uh, heal ourselves up. But before we do that, I'm gonna head to the forest to the north because it is another chocobo forest. Might as well get a chocobo and ride it over to the castle. Whenever we ride the chocobo, we don't get into any random encounters, and we had more than our share of random encounters at the beginning of this episode. We said I cut out like 27 minutes of uh, fighting. So let's go get our uh, healing here. If you missed where it was, I'll just show it off again. Just head straight. And then when you're in the round table hall, just head out and head to the pond on the right. That'll refill all our hit points and magic points. And get us ready for the Tower of Owen. Which is a kind of a small dungeon. Uh, like a lot of towers, uh, I think like the Barrier Tower in Final Fantasy V. Uh, it's kind of just uh, a lot of floors, but, you know, thin. Each floor is very small. Or the Phoenix Tower in uh, Final Fantasy V. It had quite a few towers in it. That was an interesting game. It has like has some really good dungeons and it has some really terrible dungeons. So well, let's head up to the Tower of Owen. This is where we'll start our next game. So we're going to make a quick save out here. So come back in our next episode where we head into the Tower of Owen and uh, explore and find out what Desha's destiny is. Take care.